Hey guys! So this is going to be a nail tutorial inspired by Princess Jasmine. I was doing a makeup tutorial on this look using the Jasmine palette. Um, so I just decided that I wanted to do a nail tutorial inspired by Princess Jasmine as well. So I'm going to zoom you in and show you what I came up with. Um, and I have Princess Jasmine on my ring finger. And then I have a glitter sugar ombre on the rest of my nails using the Julie G nail polish line. It's from the uh, it's from the um, summer 2013 collection called Frosted Gumdrops. So that's available in stores right now at Rite Aid, and I'll also put a link down below so you can check it out. So anyway, I hope you guys like this. I'm gonna take you through all the steps so you can recreate this nail design on your own nails. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is start off with our bare nails. I'm gonna take Birthday Suit from my Julie G line. And I'm just going to apply this over the entire length of my ring finger nail. All right, next color we're gonna take is called Black Sheep. And I'm gonna start off right here near the cuticle. Bring that down here to the tip of the nail. I'm gonna add a little bit more black nail polish to my piece of paper. And now we're really gonna start shaping her face. So I'm going to create kind of like that center part that she has right here. So just make a, a swooping line right there, fill that in. So again, on this side, just make like a swooping line. Then I'm gonna fill in that cuticle area right in through here. And then right out through here, I'm gonna create her face shape, kind of like her little jawline right here. And then once again, fill in that corner up a little bit more and now we're just going to create her little neck right here and I'm going to leave this space right here open just for the time being because I'm going to put her earring in that area so I'm taking metallic heels and we're just going to draw or I guess put a little circle right there for her earring all right so now we're going to draw her eyes and she has really really big round eyes so I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that black nail polish and we're just going to draw um, a circle for her eyes. And then make sure that you kind of draw her little eyeliner, like her winged out eyeliner. But make sure that it's very, very round. So there's her nose. I'm just kind of like dabbing it on little by little. So we create that iris of the eye. And I'm going to draw on her eyebrows. Now I want to draw on the white of her eye, so I'm going to take white orchid and just slightly fill that in, just so it brightens up the eye just a little bit. I'm just going to create a little bit of shine to the eye, so I'm just going to put a little dot right up here. And while I have that white nail polish out, I'm going to just draw a thick line across the center of her head right here. And this is for her headband because she has that blue headband and the blue nail polish that I'm gonna be using for her isn't opaque enough to go over that black nail polish. So with this white nail polish, it's just gonna create a nice bright base for that blue to lay on. I'm going to let that dry, and in the meantime, I'm going to wipe off my brush again, and we're going to draw her mouth. And for her lips, I'm going to use Cherry on Top, which is a true red, and I'm just going to create a very pointy oval, if that makes sense, like a side oval. If you have your white nail polish out, you can just take just a touch of that and put it right in the center just to brighten up her teeth. So there we go. All right, I'm gonna take the blue nail polish. I'm using Pool Boy from OCC, and we're gonna fill in her headband. I'm gonna fill in this bad boy right here. All right, so now for the final touch, we're gonna put her little rhinestone on her headband. And she also has a gold um, lining for the rhinestone or for her gem. So I'm just gonna go back to metallic heels. And this is gonna double as the lining for her, or not the lining, but I guess the ring around her rhinestone. And since this is going to be wet paint, it's also going to double as glue. So I'm just going to take a toothpick and pop that bad boy on. So there we go. There's Princess Jasmine. Okay, so let's move on to the rest of our nails. 
All right, now I'm just going to take Blueberry Fizz. This is from my summer collection. So this is actually limited edition um, just for the summer 2013. So make sure you check it out at Rite Aid stores. And if not, I'll put a link down below to the website where you can purchase it from. So we're just gonna apply this to the entire length of all of our nails. All right, so now that that nail polish has had a chance to dry, I'm gonna take a second color from my summer collection. This is called Crush Candy, and it's a sugar texture purple. And I'm gonna take it on a uh, sponge applicator this is the, the same kind of uh, sponge that you would use for your foundation. And I'm going to add some to the end of the sponge. And then we're going to create a gradient on the tip of our nails. So I'm just dabbing it on the nail and then moving the sponge upward. And it just creates a really nice fade. Like that. So we're just going to do that to the rest of our nails. And there you go. So if you want to intensify that color a little bit more, you can always add a second coat of that purple nail polish, but I really like how it's a little bit on the subtle side. It looks a little bit more whimsical and like, you know, princessy. So um, anyway, just make sure that you completely skip putting a top coat on the textured nail polish just because it will lose its effect if you put a top coat on, but make sure that you put a top coat on the Princess Jasmine um, just to make sure that you keep that rhinestone in place and you also protect the, you know, all the hard work of the you just did with Princess Jasmine. So I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for checking out my nail tutorial. I'll also put a link to this makeup tutorial at the end of this video and also down below so you can check it out. Um, so thanks again. I'll see you guys later. Bye.